Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. So, this is episode, I'm going to call this 5.1 or 5.5 or something like that because, yeah, I've mentioned this to a few people in the comments section. So, what I've been planning is doing a bit more building around Sanctuary. Um, and it tied in nicely because a few people have actually asked for this kind of video as well after the last uh, building session I did. I think it was in episode 4 where I did a bit of like a highlights reel. So what my plan is, episode 6 which will follow this episode, I will fast travel back to where we were outside the Boston Commons I think it was called. And yeah we will carry on our journey then but yeah we're going to spend this episode... Yeah, doing some building around Sanctuary, so I'll just talk you through what I've done so far because I have been playing for probably just less than two hours, um, mainly on inventory management and yeah, just having a bit of a tidy up of various factors within the game and also I've been doing a bit of modding as well, so I can talk you through what awesome. I've done. So starting off, I... Yeah, I could gather some, gather all the crops when I got back to Sanctuary, and I've been able to do this a couple of times actually. I think I think a couple of in-game days have passed, and I've been able to yeah get uh, get these a couple of times. So what I've been making is vegetable starch here, which has been good because I needed that in a lot of the modifications I've been doing. So that was kind of the first thing that I did, and also what I've done is I built a cooler here. Um, and what this has got in it is any food that I don't want to carry around on me, at least at this time. So any food I've got which improves health but doesn't have any added benefits, I've kind of put in here. Along with my corn, my mutts fruits and my potatoes for my, uh, yeah, my vegetable starch. So all that I'm going to store in here. Um, what I've also done is I've yeah I've moved everything up into this section as well. So some of this was like on the floor over here. So I've moved it all here so it's a bit tidier. Um, what I've also done is I've built another toolbox here. And what this has is it in it is all of my chemistry materials and any drugs that I didn't want to carry around. So yeah, all this is stuff that I will be using here predominantly my chemistry station so yeah I just wanted to have that kind of sorted out um, I have been making a few uh, combining a few drugs and making a few things as well which I'll talk you through shortly What's that? Um, and then finally I'd already built this steamer trunk but in here is now the weapons that I want to keep but don't want to carry um, along with this pistol as well and then any sort of like leathers and things that I've I don't want to sell, but I yeah I want to keep them here. And that reminds me actually as well. I need to put in a few of the things so dresses can go in. Uh, what I do have as well, I've managed to pick up at some of the stores a few items which improve certain skill, uh, certain skills. Yeah, so like I got a baseball cap which improves perception. I think most headwear I've got covered now, so I've got perception there. I've got uh, charisma with the trilby hat. Intellect is that? Intelligence with the Ashanka hat. And yeah, luck with the yellow slicker hat. So I also managed to get hold of some an undershirt and jeans which improved luck. And yeah, this surveyor outfit as well. So I'm covering a lot of bases, I think, with a lot of the clothing now, so I'm quite happy with what I've got. I'll keep adding to it as I go along. But yeah, so yeah, looking at the modifications then. So what I found when I gathered all my inventory together was I had a few weapons which had modifications on it which were a lot better than what I was using, or even in some cases, modifications that I couldn't actually make myself because my skills are not high enough. So. I spent a bit of time moving everything What's around. So I'll just talk you through what I've done. So, yes, my sniper rifle has had quite a bit of change. So I had on here, uh, on one rifle, sorry, a calibrated powerful receiver, which, yeah, gun nut rank two, so I can't even make that myself. 
uh, beforehand on here I just had a standard receiver so that has improved our damage from 37 to 55 so quite a big jump there that was good uh, long light barrel full stock that was all there I also had quick eject mag on another item so I've moved that over so yeah two modifications there sorry I thought it was a couple more of that but yeah just two there uh, my shotgun I have added a powerful receiver on that as well so that has gone from 45 damage to 67 so quite a big jump there um, and I've also added a longer barrel on it because yeah that's improved range and accuracy quite significantly my pistol has had quite a bit of change so that has now gone from a standard receiver 18 damage to 27 damage powerful receiver and I also had on another item a long light ported barrel again good nut rank 2 so that has gone on as well there was something else ah yeah the large magazine so the large magazine was on a pistol I picked up so that's been swapped for the standard so yeah that's had quite a bit of change and the pipe rifle so I've made a few changes to this as well even though I only did this in the last episode so I noticed I had selected the automatic receiver and I'd not I could have done one slightly better for no change in in materials um, it has a little bit of extra accuracy so I've, I've gone with the armor piece in automatic receiver I've also changed the barrel from a short ported barrel to a long now I was looking at when I was doing this I was reading the description so superior recoil and I thought well yeah superior recoil and I'm, I'm gonna need that on a automatic weapon um, but I'd not noticed at the time the numbers at the side so yeah the long ported barrel is significantly better being both range and accuracy so I've, I've swapped that and I've also changed the back of the stock so I put on it the sharpshooter's grip again I was looking at recoil um, but I'd have just been better keeping this on to be honest accuracy got worse by putting that so yeah I now know I need to make just look at the numbers really the pluses and the minuses rather than just reading the, the description and then going off <laughs> going off that so yeah quite a bit of change there but I think that's going to stand us in good stead oh no acid storm so what else have I been doing I'm a workbench I I picked up this which is a lot better than anything I can make at the minute because I can I cannot do studded leather that's an armorer perk and I can't do strengthened either I don't think because that's also an arm yeah armor rank one so I've got that and then I've basically added pocketed to everything else so what that has done is it has improved our carry weight by I think I think it's about 20 or 25 points I can't remember yeah 325 I'm on now uh, what that means is what I might do is even though I have this perk the Lone Wanderer I might now start using a few companions because I didn't realize that if you if you spend time with your companions and they like things that you do you build affinity with them and then when you max affinity you gain perks so now that we've improved our carry weight losing the 50 in having a companion isn't going to hurt as much as it would have done so yeah I'm not always going to have a companion I'll still travel on my own a lot but I may I may use some of like Pip as it was it Pippa I can't remember who the yeah the, the reporter that we saw in Diamond City. I may, I may uh, utilize her or Preston or someone at some point. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. And what else have I done? So ah, I've installed this bell here. So this was a tip that someone gave me, which uh, actually proved quite useful. So. I'll just wait for everyone to turn up. Ah, there's a few already here, so I, I rung this bell and then, yeah, kitted out my 
all my settlers basically in the same thing so I'll just click on as you can see they're all coming over but the only one who isn't dressed the same now is Preston because Preston's he's kind of cool enough isn't he with his uh, long coat and hat but everyone else now What's going on? has Let's trade. just show you so everyone's carrying a short double barreled shotgun apart from the guy who is on uh, guard duty he still got his sniper rifle and everyone is wearing five pieces of leather plus road leathers can it wait i don't really know why i've done this i thought it would look kind of cool if everyone was wearing the same almost like we're a gang but we're not but yeah what i also want to do is get mining helmets for everyone because it's apparently it's a lot easier to see your settlers you where they are at night if they have mining helmets. What I've done, I'll just show you, it looks like he's coming back now. So one of my settlers I have assigned to do supply runs to Red Rocket Station. And as you can see, he is wearing need? a mining helmet. So it is kind of cool actually at night. Like you see him in the distance, you'll see him like coming across the bridge. So, but yeah, I want to get mining helmets for everyone. Uh, that brings me on to a couple of comments I had yesterday where people were questioning why I'd bothered to get local leader. In truth, I just I just wanted to get it. It's something I've been thinking about for a couple of episodes that I wanted to invest in it because you can assign, you can link your posts. So I, I think that the reason why I've done it, and I'll just quickly show you, is when I did all the building here, I think I'd, I had like 1200 wood. By the time I'd built these structures and this house, I'd gone down to like 200. So I burned through it quite quickly. What I did at Red Rocket Station is I've cleared everything out there. So I gained like loads of materials, but mainly wood and steel. If I just go into workshop mode now, and just show you. So I've got nearly 2000 wood and I think about 500, 600 of that is at Red Rocket. So that was kind of the main reason why I did it, but I mean, oh no, I don't want to store that in there. In terms of the perks, like because this is my first time playing this, and I'm aware that as you level, the game will get tougher. So invested in things like toughness and rifleman and medic, they are on my shortlist to do by the way i'll probably do them next like i'm rifleman is more than likely going to be my next perk i'll probably do those three in the next three or four so i'm aware that the game will get harder but i'm i'm probably i just want to pick things that i want to, i'm interested in because like i say none of this is it's all going to be new to me so I'm almost going to play it a bit like a magpie, like I see something shiny and I'm like, oh yeah, I want that. I know that it's not optimised, I know that it's probably not the right thing to do, but I don't really care, <laughs> to be honest, to put it bluntly. Um, I just, yeah, I'm just on a, on a voyage of discovery, basically, is what I'm kind of trying to say. I know that it's probably not the right thing to do, getting that, but I wanted it, so I did it. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of address that. Um, there was there was some method behind it, because I did want to focus on building here, but, yeah, I just, uh, I, I'm sure I will pick other perks further down the line as well, which don't really make sense, but it's probably just because I was like, oh yeah, I want that, and I don't, I'm not really thinking about much else, to be honest, so, yeah. And I think... That's about it. I'll just quickly show you my inventory then, so what I'm carrying. Uh, weapons hasn't really changed. These are all just the stuff that I've got favorited. Um, I've reduced how many Molotovs I was carrying, so I sold about 10 of those. Um, apparel, I... Ooh, wrong one. Apparel I've kind of shown you already, not really much change here. Um, it, where it it's different now to what I had earlier, it's mainly in aid. So I was carrying a lot of aid earlier. So, what have I done? I had enough materials to make one berry mentats and one grape mentats. Um, both of these were mentioned in comments recently as good drugs to carry. 
Um, food that I'm carrying is anything that has added benefits. So Deathclaw Steak, lot of HP, plus one agility. Grilled Radstag, lot of HP, plus 25 carry weight. Uh, I saw, I've sold off all my new Coca-Cola apart from the Quantum because they look like the best. I was carrying a lot of other stuff, so they've all gone. Uh, Mutant Hound Chops obviously reduces radiation. And Yao Guai Ribs damage resistance. What I've made is I've made a couple of refreshing beverages. So, yeah, cures all addictions. I... I've said a few times quite recently that I don't think I want to take drugs, but it was more because I was just worried about the uh, addiction. But if it's really easy, if it's as easy as making one of these to cure it, I think I might sample some of them. So what I've done is I've sold or combined most of it. Other things I've uh, so what I've kept that I had before is Medex that looks quite unique. Uh, and I kept, uh, where is it, Excel, because that just looks ridiculous, like plus two into everything, basically. Um, and then what I've done is I've combined a few things to make Psycho Jet and Psycho Buff. They just seem the best of the lot when I was reading the descriptions, and I've got five of those. That's, I think, the only changes. Everything I, I was carrying so much in here that I've just kind of cleared out, so... Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, oh yeah, I've still got my Radex and my Radaway. Um, I did look online. There seems to be a bit of confusion in the comments around that some people were saying, oh, these give you addiction as well. But I've looked online and it doesn't seem in, in Fallout 4 that's the case. It, it says it, like in earlier versions of Fallout, it, they did. But yeah, on like Fallout Wiki and stuff, it says that these are, these are clean. So, yeah. Um, but that's pretty much it. You'll see I've got below there uh, 3,500 caps now. So I've got more than enough to buy that gun that we saw that Cricket had. If I see her again. Yeah, I made like a 1,000 caps just by like doing supply runs to the uh, Drumlin Diner. And yeah, through uh, Trash Can Carla. Just basically selling stuff that I didn't want. So I had so much stuff in here that I've sold. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, so shall we, yeah, do some building? So, I think what I'm going to do first is... I think first things first, I might make another one of these structures because I want to try and improve my defence. Um, this was quite easy to knock up, to be honest. So, what I... Yeah... This only took me like five minutes last time, so I should be able to do this pretty quickly. So, I think the first thing we need is floors. We need one of these. So, I'm going to try and build it about the same height if I can. So, it's about there. I think so. I can just move this over now. I think we'll probably put it. I might have to raise it a bit actually because this is a bit lower. I think if we put it like. Bit close to this house there and then at least there's way you can kind of come through but yeah we'll have two two turrets here maximum carnage for any yeah poor raiders that try and uh, attack this settlement so what I need to do now I think is the stairs if I remember correctly place these on here yeah they clip in nice and easy I'd, I'd want to put them there on that side, but that bush is just in a really annoying place. So yeah, we'll do it there. And then... Now, I think we need this stair. This, this structure doesn't require any sort of glitches or anything, which is really good because... Yeah, they're a pain in the ass. People on the videos make them look so easy and I'm like, I just seem to struggle like mad. Now we're going to build a wooden floor, which I think we just need the small, where is it, this one will do. Build that on here. And then I just want to line this up. So, oh, I've ended up in the garden. 
that's now where I want it to go. So I just need to move this back slightly. So if I just unclip that. Just take this off, sorry. Just clip that onto here. I should be able to pick this whole structure up and then put it on. Now I can line this up a little bit better now. Not better. No, I seem to move it over, don't I? In fact, let's take this off. It's easier to move the stairs. Right, I know that's about the right place. If I just get it central now. So what, we're like three and a half beams over, four. That should be good. Doesn't need to be perfect, but I am a bit, yeah, a bit of a perfectionist with these sort of things. That's, yeah, it's nearly, nearly right. I think we just need to rotate it a bit, don't we? Try that. Make sure that's clipped in the right place. There we go, perfect. Right, now I just need the walls. Which they are in, are they in this or are they in miscellaneous? I can't remember those little ones. I think they might be in miscellaneous. Yes, here we are. It's these ones I used. Clip these in. Um, I wonder if it's because I've got it just a bit too close. Might have to move that back a bit. Yeah, but it's just intersecting. You come off. You come back. A tiny amount where I'll try that. Where did I put that wood? Right, now I'll try again. Yes, there we go. It doesn't really matter how close it is, but I kind of wanted it to at least appear like it wasn't floating. I mean, it's not perfect, but... It's good enough. And then we can go to defences, turrets, and yeah, place another heavy machine gun turret on here. So let's get this rotated round so it's the right place. Let's put him down. How close did I get the other one to the end? I think it was pretty close, wasn't it? Yeah, it's fairly central, right near the front. We'll just move you forward a bit. There we go. Right, two turrets. How are we looking? Yeah. Pretty nice. No uh, raiders are getting through here. So... What else should we build? I think what I might do... I'm not going to build another structure like this because that just took me ages and I... Yeah, I... There was a lot of back and forward between that. But what I might do is I might re-roof and put flooring in some of these houses. What I'd quite like to end up with is them all looking a little bit different. Like, I'm probably going to build another one like this, maybe here. But then some of them I'm not going to build these ridiculous structures. I'll build them slightly different. So this one, I might just build this as the, as it is now, just with a new roof on it, flooring, and then yeah, fill in all these gaps. What was that that just lit up then? Our oh, medicine cabinet. Has that got anything in it? No. Let's scrap that. 
So I'm hoping this is going to work in one go. But we'll see. Right, we'll try and do the roof first. I'm going to use this structure in order to build it. I think the sun might be going down soon as well. I'll try and build, do all the building in the daytime so it's easier. So if the sun does go down, we'll sleep till the morning. Right, structures. Let me think about this. Right, so I'm going to need... Let's do wood first. And we'll go with stairs. No, not stairs. Floors. This one. Right, let's build this here. Right, now how big do we think we need this? I'm going to assume... Five... Five wide, maybe? And... I don't know if four... Four's not going to be enough, is it, looking at it? I think we're going to have to build five and just build and have it overhanging. So, yeah, we'll do that. And then... I think the one in this house I did these were I mean these I didn't get these perfect they're like above the roof but I was yeah having a bit of a nightmare with this house so hopefully this one is a bit more compliant I think what I might try because there were gap there was gaps in this one like even though I even though I picked the double I like double structured this so it was like there's a there's a, an upper slat which is two and then another single on top so it should have been three and I cross hatched them as well so I was I was thinking they will it'll cover all the gaps but I don't know when it's like daylight you can still kind of see through which was a little bit annoying but yeah the sun is definitely going down isn't it so yeah I think I might do concrete this time and we'll do. Let's do with the upper still because at least it's a double. These should hopefully mean there's no gaps. And we'll go with uh, five. In fact, no, I'm gonna I'll build it on this side because I need to. I always find it easier if the stairs are in one corner, and then I can lay things down a bit better up here. So then I'm going to do, right, so that's five by one. So I need five by five. God, look at that concrete go down. I hope I've got enough for this. Have to, you might have to use uh, wood, if not. Come on, clip on. There we go. Is that right? Did I say five by five or did I say five by four? That's gonna that's gonna be way too big, isn't it? I've gone a bit too far with that. So we'll st we'll oh no, I'll scrap that. I meant to store. Yeah, store these. I don't think we need to go that far, but we'll see. Right. So that's the upper done. Let's just have a look. Right, so now we need to do the roof. See how much of the roof I can get done before we need to... In fact, actually, am I going to need to do five because the spine... How am I going to get the spine to sit here? Because it's going to want to snap to this one, isn't it? Let's just think about this. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. Use, I'm going to have to do five. Yeah, I said that earlier, didn't I? I didn't think four would be enough. All right, we'll do this again. Put these back on. This is all, this is all going to be shot in one take, by the way. So I will no doubt they'll be back with the forwards. <laughs> But yeah, we'll we'll hopefully it'll uh, be a semi-smooth process, as smooth as building can be without mods. Right, so now I need to build. I need to build the actual roof door. So I'm going to need side structures here in order to clip this onto. 
So, which one shall I use? Walls, are there any in here? Oh, we could use one with a window, that's quite cool. Is that going to clip onto there? Yeah, that'll do. Right. Do we have... Ooh, a half wall. Half wall's good. Yeah, I think we'll do that, because then I should... I'm hoping I can now... Add these. And then this is just going to clip onto here. Yeah, this is good. This is what I wanted. Oop, not down the stairs. Uh, yeah, this one. And then here. Is this going to work? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just look at that from down here. Make sure I've done that right. Oh yeah, this looks good. I think it's going to be way bigger than this house, actually. I, may, I might... Because all the houses are different sizes, aren't they? Not the same structure. Uh, the sun is, like, disappearing now. So let's go sleep till the morning. Then we'll carry on with daylight. You can fix just about anything. Guns, computers... So it's 7 o'clock now. Let's do... 11 hours. So yeah, it's a uh, Friday evening that I'm doing this. So yeah, good. Um, yeah, obviously Easter weekend this weekend. So four day weekend for me. Not back in work until the Tuesday. So yeah, I am. My wife's actually out tonight. Don't let your guard down. She's, yeah, she's gone out with her friends. So, yeah, just me and the kids. So, I have, yeah, managed to get the kids in bed. Praying that they don't wake up. Yeah, maybe, uh... Maybe, uh... I should, probably should have said a few prayers, actually, thinking about it. Because, yeah, uh, I can just guarantee now that I'm on my own. It'll, uh... Little one will wake up. But hopefully that doesn't happen. If it does, I may have to pause and, yeah, carry on when I've got her back to sleep. But... Yeah, girls are in bed, and I am, yeah, kicking back with a couple of beers now. So, yeah, nice uh, nice Friday afternoon playing Fallout while the wi while the, uh, the wife's out. Um, yeah, let me know what your plans are this evening or, yeah, this weekend, whether you're doing anything for the Easter weekend. So, yeah, myself, um, right now I am here. I'm going to kick back with a few beers and hopefully, yeah, do some... Hopefully this building video will be a success, so um, I might move on to the stronger stuff later as well, or a whiskey later, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. How? What's the best way of doing this? I, sh I should actually build the spine first, shouldn't I? I'm just trying to think. What's the best way of doing this? Where are the best spine? This is all like side pieces, isn't it? Do they have ones that go? Ah, oh, they do, yeah, I'll write these ones. Yeah, these are the ones I was looking for. So, do I want barn or do I want warehouse? Let's go with... This is like the end piece, isn't it? So, does this clip just onto here? Yes. And then, in fact, I want an end piece on here, don't I? Yeah, like that. And then I want these ones in the middle. How's that looking? Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, what? ones look They're like metal it's like corrugated metal isn't it it looks like let's just store that 
I want to see what the warehouse ones look like as well. Roofs. Let's have a look. Oh, great, we've leveled up. I don't think I should be doing them different, to be honest. So I think let's just stick with the barn, barn ones. And they should. Yeah, they, they match then, then, don't they? Let's just fill all this in. There we go. Oh, I, should have, I shouldn't have dropped down, should I? I should have stayed up there to do this side. Ooh, what's going on here? Did I put... Ah, okay, right. Bit of a, an issue if I can't get up there. Do... These ones have those on or not? I don't think they do, do they? No, they just seem to... Maybe this roof would have been better actually thinking about it if they... In fact, no, when, I, when I'm up, once it's built, I'm not going to be going up there, so... It's a bit of a moot point really, I just need to work through the uh, getting up with these. If there is a way of doing it. I get you up there. God, the view here is really... What is going on with this view? Right, store you, because you're in the way. Can I get up there? Store you. Let's build the back first. Right, where was it? Oh, I've come out here. That's not what I wanted to do. Structures. Uh, barn. Roofs. Maybe I should build them like this. Work our way back. And if we do this side. Then clip these in here. Now I can come down the stairs and add the two in here. In here. Last one. There we go. Right, now. If I take that section out and add in concrete, again, floors. It's the upper floor, isn't it, that I want? Just spin this round. That should, then... That's kind of cool, isn't it? It's kind of clunky. It's going to look enormous on that, on this house. I'm hoping this is uh, going to be the right size, otherwise I've wasted a lot of time here. Now, I believe, in order to get these to clip properly, or to make it easier... So I'm going to... I, know, I, won't, I won't try moving it because I know in me I'll break something but I think what you need to do is put a pillar in don't you and then you can kind of at least you can get it correct then to the floor so where are pillars in warehouse that's a post is that going to work do I need to take a section out in order to clip it in uh, let me think. If I move that. I can't remember exactly how you do this. I think you need to put like a half. Do you need to put like a half floor in or something? And then clip it to that. I think it's these you use. I'm trying to remember when I watched it.
Yes, this is how we do it. Post, there we go. Right. Then I put in, where is it, floors, the other half. And then I think we can just move this entire thing over now. I really hope this works. Right, where this is, this is, thankfully I've not built anything in this house so I can move, maneuver it around, but I don't really know where we need to place it. So we'll just try there for now. May need to lower it slightly. Let's have a look. It's probably going to be way off. Yeah, it needs to be a good... Gosh, this is, it's much bigger, isn't it? Maybe four would have been would have been better. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, it needs to come back. Is it lined up to the edge? It's going to overhang a bit, isn't it? So I need to pull it a few feet to the right and I need to move it a good... Probably six feet back. Maybe even more. Yeah, I think what we should have probably done is gone six across because five across is it's just not quite enough. So if you can see, it's kind of clipping through the side. We've managed to get it lined up pretty well in terms of the original, like where the original arch is. But it just isn't quite big enough to go all the way through. So you can see it's kind of clipping through here as well. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do this in here. But I'm going to try it anyway while it's in place. So let's go to... Right, where is... No, I want concrete floors, don't I? Yes, and I want upper. Where is it? Concrete floors. Yes. Ah, so I can actually clip these onto here while it's in situ. This is good. I couldn't do anything like this on the, on the other house over there. It was a real pain in the ass to do. And then if I... In fact, what I might have to do is I might have to build some stairs up so I can do this, but... I'm going to build concrete, I'm going to build the wooden ones because I've got a lot of wood. Right, so we can, we'll take these off. So, what I need to do is I need to move all these pieces over. You need to go here. And I need this one if I can get it, yes. And yeah, you. And it's good that I can do this in situ. I was worried I was going to have to like pull the entire thing down and redo it. Right, and then now I just need to drag that one over. It'll let me place it on here. Yep, and now I just need to fill in these sections, so... Barn roofs. I want this middle one. And then we want... These ones here, so... Put you in first. It'll let me. Oh, please, please clip. Right, one there. Is this one going to go in? No, this one won't go in. Why won't you go in? Right, you'll go. Let's get out of here. Oh no, it won't let me out. 
<laughs> uh, right. Move you. Right, now can I get out? No. Right, I'm being blocked in. That's better. Right, now try it. Why will you not clip? Let's put the floor back in place. Yep. Yeah. Let's turn that around. Move these stairs. Right, now is he going to let me do this? I was hoping not, and I wouldn't need to use any rug glitches or anything, but it doesn't appear like this roof is going to go in. It's just going to be a pain if so. I don't know what am I doing. Structures. Barn. Roofs. Maybe I just need to move you out of the way. It's just this bottom one. Why are you not clipping in? What is causing you not to clip? There we go. Must have been colliding with something, so. Right, let's try this again. It look, appears that maybe we don't need the pillar, which is good. So I'm hoping I can just move this freehand. Which is a lot better than what the last house was. Let's get this so it's lined up. I think I'll try that. I want to lower you as far as I can get you. There. Just go back and make sure we are central. I'm using that window as a gauge just in the top left corner as to whether we are central. Try there. Probably gonna have to move it over a tad, yes. So we are quite quite far over on that side. It's probably an easy way of doing this by the way, but yeah, still pretty new to this uh, system, so hopefully there's no one watching this that's going to have high blood pressure and is getting angry at how I'm doing it. How are we looking? Oh, I think we're nearly there. Looking pretty good. Oh, is, is this is this passable or do we need to move it over a little bit? I think move it over a little bit and then I think we're golden. Go on, clip in. Alright, it's a moment of truth. That looks It's fairly central. And we are. What's that? About four or five feet? Yeah, I reckon that's good. I reckon that's good enough. I mean, it's quite clunky, isn't it? But 
what I'm going to do is I think I might add pillars around the outside and then build like a porch so at least it looks like it's not just some enormous roof that's just stuck on a ridiculously small house. Yeah, I may do more like this um, but I do also want to do a few of these like raider style structures as well. So I think now that that's done should we do the floor? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have to match this out. So we've gone one, two, three, four, five by six. Right, and then the flooring. Where's the good? There's a good one I saw. I think it's this one, the warehouse floor. Try and get this. Yeah, this one looks. I do like the look of this one. Do I want it that way? To make sure I drink my beer before I uh, before it goes cold, before it goes warm. Sorry, I'm uh, too into this. Don't want your Friday night beers uh, going lukewarm on you. I don't know why I'm lining it up to this. I'm not building it here. And then yeah, so that's four. I need to go five, don't I? Right. Let me just check that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then we need to go six this way. So one, two. Oh no, not you. That's three. Oh, stop doing that. Yeah, I mean, look at how quickly my wood is going down. What was I at? 2,000. We're now below 1,500. It does not last. This is why I wanted to link settlements up, because I wasn't hauling ass all the way back by foot. Right, so that's the floor. Now, I'm going to need a post in order to use the post glitch, I think. So let me just think how this is going to work. Where are those posts? Are they in warehouse again? I can't, I, I'm still sort of... Yeah, there it is. I'm still getting used to where everything is, so... I'm sure it'll come with time. Now, can I grab this entire structure? Yes, but I do not want them up through as well. Oh, no. Right. I will, I'm, I'm planning on building a greenhouse as well, so just for the purposes of this, let's just move all this out of the way. Oh yeah, you need to move as well, good. I don't want to pick you up. Right, let's try now. Why is it still picking those up? Don't get that. It's that one. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not enjoying that, is it? Right. This is annoying. So I'm gonna have to move this ever so slightly back. Take. Okay. In fact, no. No, that would be a silly way of doing it. If I just move this, say, there, is that then going to work? Yes, it's no longer picking them up. Right. I've gone, I've gone at that at a weird angle. I want to get side on if I can. 
Now what I want to do is I want to place this perfectly under here. And I probably could have done this all in one. Maybe that would have been a better thing to do. But I didn't do it. So I don't know if it's going to let me actually because of these bloody garden fences. What I might have to do is I might have to remove all this. Can I can I set keep these or not? I don't know if I can. Yeah, right, we'll scrap. Let's get this get rid of this one. Because going to have uh, they what's it called a porch all the way round at least this means we get more wood as well so every cloud right let's grab you I really hope this is going to work Right, this is a, working a lot better, so. I want it so it's in the house. In fact, if I. I want to get this as close as possible. Because then I could hopefully. If I get this in the corner. I could just line it up with. I'm hoping I can just line this up with the roof. Power arms are not in a great, <laughs> great place. Can I line this up with here? So I want it about. I think I want it about here because I don't want to see the floor. If you look, if you just look through that gap in the house, you can kind of see it's not there. If I move it up slightly, it's now visible. So I want to get it perfect. And this is going to be difficult because the roof is now in. So I'm almost, I've only got one shot at this. So I don't want to go too low and floor be visible. So I'm thinking maybe about there. Am I, li am I lined up with the roof? So I do need to get this correct. Right, I can see better now. This is this is a better view. So I want it here. Don't I? Just on the outside of this. So if I build it there, I'm actually in. So what I want to do is I want it like here. Just lower it down. Now why is that not working this time? It was working earlier. Let's try this again. I think we're moment of truth. No, it's close enough. If I grab all this now, it's going to grab the ceiling as well, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Ah, that's good. Can go a bit closer. Oh yeah, that's pretty, that's not really noticeable, although we are, it's, maybe I need to go a little bit higher, let's just have a look through here, yeah, we can go higher, can't we, because there is, there's rubble and whatnot, that's good, at least I know I can go a bit higher, alright, please don't grab the roof, Yeah, 
Yes, right. Try that. Oh, I'll tell you what's near enough. There's a few bits sticking through, but... I mean, it's... It's not... That much that I'm going to lose any sleep over it. That looks pretty good, I must say. Pretty good. I mean, it's a shame that it's floating. Because the, this floor is... I've picked a house where it's really uneven. So what I need to do is I need to build structures underneath that, yeah, like stilts, which I wasn't thinking I was going to have to do. But yeah, this house is really uneven here, isn't it? So we'll do the easy things first. Let's put the stairs on. And I need to be in wood for this. The miscellaneous. No, not miscellaneous. Stairs. Yes, I want these ones. Yeah, they look pretty good. It's a shame these bushes are all sticking through. Right, am I going to be able to just stick the shack bridges underneath? Is that going to work? Or would I be better using the floor? What I might have to do is I might have to rug glitch these in. I'll try rug glitch this in. So I'm not going to build one there, but I might build them from here all the way round. So yeah, I will try... Try get this right. Is that lined up? Let's just move you out now because we don't need you. That's pretty close, right? Where are my rugs? Wall decorations. Why, hello there. Not wall decorations, what am I doing? Floor coverings. Oh, here's a few I made earlier that I have stored, so oh, please work. I really want this to work. Oh no, too close. Abort. No, I want you to go underneath. Right, how... How should we do this, I wonder? Maybe we need to build... Maybe I need to be on a flat surface, because this is a weird angle. Let's so try it from this side. If I, can get the, if I can get one in, then I should be able to, in theory, clip to them better. So maybe I should go this side first. Why are you not clipping? Is it because of the floor? Maybe I could do, maybe I'm going to have to do. There should be a way of doing it, definitely. Maybe, do I need to use the pole glitch? Is that Would that be a better way of doing it? Lowering it into the ground. This is all trial and error for me, by the way. I'm, I didn't uh, test any of this before. Which may have been silly, but I kind of just wanted to wing it and do it live. Oh, we got a rug there. We don't want you. Get this into the ground. If it doesn't work, I'll abort it and then yeah, I'm 
sure people in the comments will let me know what I should be doing. Ah, here we go. Yes. When one glitch doesn't work, do the next. So, I'm going to have to get this correct in one hit. And the light, I'm losing the light, which isn't ideal. So, it needs to be... Just line this up. That's probably about as close I'm going to get it. And then if I lower from here down, in theory this should be in the right place. Go down a bit more. Ah, oh, it's close enough. I've gone a little bit too far in, but... I mean, when I put walls on it, you're not really gonna gonna notice, are you? It's so so small. Now I'm hoping now I've got one in. Uh, just move you out of the way. That the rest will just clip. I really hope this is gonna work. don't really want to pole glitch everything under. I'm going to have to do it. Ah, I'm going to have to pole glitch the whole lot. It's going to be so annoying. Right. What I might do is I might do this. You can kind of see the idea that I'm going for. I might do that off camera rather than making you watch the entire thing. But what I'm going to do is we will... Let's add at least some... Yeah, some of these around the outside. I want it to clip the other way. Why is it clipping that way? Ah, oh, it'll do. But yeah, you get the idea. bush there. That's annoying. Did not realise that was there. There's mods that remove that, things like bushes, isn't there? I have to, might have to invest in things like that at some point. Because <laughs> that's going to annoy me. I'm going to have to rug glitch this into here just to get it to go in. Oh, brilliant. So, I had to go and jinx it, didn't I? So, my youngest did, in fact, wake up. So, I've just spent the last 45 minutes, I'd say, trying to get her back to sleep. So, yeah, got myself a, another beer and then decided to... Yeah, I'll just finish this house off, off, ca uh, off camera because it was taking a while. So, basically, as you can see now, we've added in the pillars and it isn't perfect... So as you can see here, this pillar is like half in to the fence. But then when you get to this one, it's just outside. So we're literally like a couple of degrees maybe off. But it's close enough considering I was doing it by pretty much eyesight. Um, and that's the same at the back. So it's, yeah, it's as good as, you, you're never going to know that unless I like, obviously I've obviously pointed it out. So... I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest, considering considering this is the first house I've re-roofed this way, ever. So, yeah. Uh, what I've also done is I've added in this little stair structure. Stair. Gosh, you can put your teeth back in. Um, stair structure up here. Because I, yeah, I was filling in all these, getting all this in. Um, and most of it went in fine. But then I was having a real problem with this one, so I thought... you. I can't be bothered with this. I'm just going to build build stairs up. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I was going to add walls in, 
but I might leave this one open to the elements. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna do all these everything here probably different in some way, just so it's almost like a yeah ramshack that's been put together. So yeah, quite uh, quite happy with how that one's turned out. We'll uh, we'll move on to other stuff now. Yeah, this was the one that I was trying to get under there, but it just wouldn't work. So we'll store these and. Oh, it's just weather a ch uh, change. What I might do now is I want to try something which I saw a uh, school zone attempt. Oh, well, not attempt, sorry, show you how to do. And that is the wire glitch. So, yeah, I've, all, I've never liked the fact that the water, these water pumps you have to put in the water. Like obviously some of them you can put in land, but the one I picked you have to put in water. And I always think like when you come over here, it's just like, I don't know, it just looks a bit ridiculous. Just like being there. I don't know, maybe I'm being picky, but I'd rather have them. I just, I'd just rather have, have something that looks a bit nicer basically. So I watched a video uh, that School Zone did using the wire glitch and yeah he basically hid all his water towers away from from view so I might have actually have a, a go at doing that myself so I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to need some more power in order to do this so I'm going to build maybe a collection of generators I'm going to build them why should we build them it's going to be out the way. I may build them here, next to this house. If we try here. Well, that is actually floating, isn't it? Why are you floating? That's not good. Yeah, we're going to have to maybe on a flat surface actually. There's not much around here that is actually flat. A bit of a pain. Maybe we'll build them next to the old playground. I want to avoid pillar glitching if I can because if I know sod it, we'll we'll build them down here. I'll line them up along this uh, along this wall. It'd be better if I could get to like the fusion generators at some point, but that is a long way away because I was looking at all these and the power, the power that you get from them is not great. At least not from the ones I'm able to build without the science perk. So I'm just going to build a few of these. Now, what I want to do is I want to attempt this glitch that he did and he did it using I think it may well have been use this connector was it this one maybe this one we put this down here so it's out of the way and it's hidden yeah that'll do so I think what he did first was he had one that would work. So as an example, if we link this to here, ah, oh, it's not, it's not going to do it because that's in the way. Uh, I'll just move you there. Are you going to connect? Yes, you are. So normally, if I understand this correctly, if you click on that and try to go to here, it's not going to let you because it's going to cut through a wall. But I think he said if you just get off that, if you just hover just onto the wire, just there, then you can actually connect it, and it goes through. Amazing. Right now, if I get rid of this, am I going to be able to get rid of that? Is that is that going to connect? No, it does that. It actually takes it off, right? So I need to think about how I'm going to do this. So, will you go on there? Yes, you will. 
Ah, the sun's coming out now. This is good. Right, we'll move these over a bit so I can do this. So I need to attach a wire to you. Right, you need to... Oh, come on, move over. And then, if I attach... Now I need another connector, and I'm going to go with you. Let's place you down there. Right, now we'll connect that. If it'll let me. It's just to... Not enough space. Try that. Yes, that'll that's work. So can I move that back now? So at least it's on the thing on the wall. Right, now, what this conduit here is now going to serve as is one that I'm going to pull everything in the settlement from. And what will then happen is it will... I'm going to have to move these on this side, I think, actually. What will then happen is it'll just hide all the wires. And I quite like that idea. I thought it was quite clever. So, as an example... I'm gonna. I will get rid of this generator, by the way. I'm gonna get rid of this because I'm gonna move the. I'm gonna have water pumps elsewhere. I don't know how much power I'm gonna need, which is why I've just built three for now. But if I link these all to this, I'm gonna have wires here. But what will what it'll mean is that there'll be no more wires anywhere else. So, I just want to test this out. If I go over here now, I'd quite like to get turrets. Can I put you on here, actually? So I'm flicking around here. Yes, I can put you up there. That's cool. Oh god, cow's running off. Is that central? Not quite. There we go. Right, I'm going to build another one because actually that looks quite good. And we can never have enough turrets. There is a method to what I'm doing here, by the way. I know I'm probably looks like I'm flicking around, but yeah, a badass. Oh god, the cavalry's arrived. Look at the state of this. Right. So what I wanted to test is if this invisible wire, what this invisible wire glitch looks like. So let's go to power connectors and switches. I'm going to put you well, one there. Hopefully this is going to be hidden. Well, yeah. As well as can be. And let's put one there as well. Right. Moment of truth. So if I use this as the primary conduit, 
I select this wire. I need to get it just so it's there. Right, I heard the spark then. That, I think, means it's going to work. Oh, look at that. Well, it's, it's not quite hidden. But, I mean, most of it's hidden. Let's try this again. You kind of see it sort of running through the wall there. better. Is that visible through here? Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. Oh no, that's the other one, isn't it? Also, that one of them's visible, one isn't. Maybe then. Maybe we don't have this one here. to store that wire yes this one's connected so maybe what I can do is can I select this wire I need to click the wire down I might have moved it too close maybe it needed to be more like here right Let's get rid of that wire if I can. I'll try it again. There is going to be an element of trial and error to this, so... Yeah, that wire there. So, one, two... If it'll let me select it. Right, let's just move the conduit. Try to get it super close to the wall, but I might have to just bite the bullet and move it a bit further away. So I need to be able to select the wire. Let's try there. And now select this wire. I'm going to run this all the way to the one over here first and then try and connect it to the second one and then maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be invisible then. Yeah, there we go. Now you can't see them. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, I like that. I do like that glitch. So what I can do now is, the reason why I wanted to do this is, can I get some lights on here that are going to now light up? Yeah. Awesome, right. So what I wanted to do with the water towers 
is I'm going to basically copy what he did and he had them hidden there's not really any other reason other than that I like the design and also it um, it just I'm, I'm more testing these out to be honest as well than anything so I need to I'm going to need a way to get through here because I think he had them like along here and along here which I'm going to attempt to do and I think in order to do it what we're going to need is we're going to need a pillar because I think he sunk them into the ground like everything in this game you need a pillar or a, a uh, mat to get it to work so water is under resources yet yeah. it was these ones he'd used the ones that he didn't need to put into the water so I can't I can't build the the industrial ones yet but I think they'll need to go in the water as well they do need more power these though so right, where is the so if I put them this way I can get more along this wall car so Start where the bush is. And lower that into the ground until... I want to make sure that the conduit is still visible. Which is, so I can go a bit lower. Probably go a bit further back as well, actually. Yeah, that's probably low enough. And then now, what I think you can do is you can link all the way and it'll work and I can get rid of this ugly one that's in the water I wanted to clear this whole lake out like it's really annoying like some of the bits you can't get to like this car here there's, a, there's another bit as well I think I think this tree that's like sort of half in and half out I don't think I can clear that <laughs> it's just like, why? Why not? <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Yeah, I want my lake clear of debris. So, master conduit. Is this going to work? I'm not going to do loads of these by the way because it'll just be quite repetitive but once I've if this works once I've done the one I will do more but I'll do it off camera so yes that's linked oh amazing so let's just check this wire so that runs underground I just want to make sure that it's not visible at any point Can't quite, I can't actually see where it's going, but 
I'm also wondering is there a better way that I can link these so these wires are not visible. No, I think that's worse, isn't it? Because, yeah. Unless. I move these somewhere else. So there's more of a hang, and then maybe maybe it wouldn't be visible. Maybe I do put them up near this house. Let me just try this. Can I move that? It's not going to let me move it, is it? I might play around with it and try and get a, a scenario where I've got these somewhere where the wires are not visible. That might be better. But you can go. store you? What am I going to get for scrapping you rubber steel cloth? No, I'll, I'll store. And I'm going to store you as well. And this wire can go. Okay, yeah, so water production. I can, yeah, I'll have a play around with that as well. Right, what else did I want to do? Ah, yes, I'm going to build a. I'm going. I'm going to basically build a greenhouse structure here. Because I don't like. I I don't mind this sort of setup where the. The farming is taking place inside a picketed. A picket fence area but yeah this that I just kind of threw together like this does my head in like the fact that all this is floating so I'm gonna build a greenhouse here which I'm actually excited to try this because it looked uh, the one that I saw on YouTube looked amazing can I get this closer I wonder pull you this way Is that just going to look like it's floating? Yeah, that's all right. I might turn it a little bit. Just one. I have been attacked from this way, by the way. This is the f my f very first attack. They came from here and, like, this garden, I think it was, like, through here. But they didn't last very long. They were dead, probably, in less than a minute. But, um, yeah. By the time I got to this section, there was just, like, raider body parts along here. I don't know who'd actually killed them, but they were all dead. That's why I've put that there. Um, but what I'm going to do now is... Yeah, the sun's going down, so we'll sleep, and then we'll build a greenhouse in the morning. John Long is, yeah, doing his rounds. Looks like he's heading over there now. I don't know if I signed Preston, actually. I wonder if I've, I've actually done that. No, he's unassigned. So let's assign you two defences as well. Yes, right. So I've got two on defense. I've got one on scavenging, one on uh, supply runs between here and Red Rocket. And then I've got four on food production, I think. No, three on food production. Mama Murphy's not on anything yet. Oh, I saw a, a, a glitch where you can get a light in here as well, like to sit perfectly over this, which might actually look cool because then, yeah, dog meat is uh, dog meat's kennel will be lit up. I'm assuming it was done using what using a glitch, but they basically put uh, one of the light. Well, it would have been that light over it. This one, 
think it's this one. Oh, it must be a different one to that. Yeah, they basically put a light perfectly over this and it just looked really cool because it was actually like lit up. Maybe it was that one, I don't know. It's that smaller though, isn't it? But yeah. I'm not going to do that now because I don't um I don't know how they'd done it, but it looked good. Right, let's sleep till six half six again. I reckon my wife's probably going to be coming home soon as well. Hopefully I can get all this done before, because I don't really want her to walk in like mid-build. I mean, she knows I'm a bit of a nerd anyway when it comes to gaming, but she'll probably just be like, what are you doing? It's Friday night, like, come on. <laughs> right, how do we do this? I'm not even in build mode, am I? Right, so structures. Yeah, right, is it going to be in barn? I'm going to build the floors first. So I'd seen when I saw one of the structures that the way they'd done this is they'd actually merged the they all lined up. I'll make sure this is right. Now there's a bit of a gap there, so make sure this is actually lined up. It may not be perfect. But yeah, the way they'd done it is they'd actually managed to get the compost. Uh, I don't know what it's called, like the, the thing, the, the planters, sorry. They'd managed to glitch them underneath here, so like the plants were almost like standing through them. It looked really cool, but in the interest of time, I might not do that now. I might just sit them on top. Because I had a look myself off camera, and they don't look too bad, to be honest. Oh, that's overhanging a little bit. Right, it's not a problem. We will pull the whole thing over. What's the gap there? That's probably half a foot, maybe. Yeah, we need to pull it over, don't we? Oh, why have you got red now? What is intersecting? Ah. Probably come a little bit more. And we'll try that. Um, yeah, that'll do. It's near enough. Yeah, I'm just going to sit the planters on top. I think it'll still look good. So ground floor, we'll put the plants in last actually, so we need walls, is it under barn, or is it under warehouse, I think it might be under warehouse, I'm basically looking for the glass ones that came with one of the DLCs, which I'm glad I bought to be honest, so when I was buying this game I wasn't really sure which to get and I thought oh, get the get the version that's got everything because you never know if you need it, and I'm glad I did now. Build these on here. And then under resources, 
I'm going to put these on top. So yeah, these were sunken into the ground and the, the, the mesh was placed on top of them, but I had a go myself when I was looking at these just to see how it worked and I managed to get one in and then for some reason I couldn't get a second one in and then I got a second one in but it took me like 15 minutes. I don't know what I was doing different that meant the first one worked really well and the second one didn't. But I just thought, no, I'm not going to... I don't want to spend basically hours doing that. Something that's just, yeah... Purely visual. I'm going to say that like I didn't spend hours building that house over there, but... Yeah, I can't do that every time. I will... I'll end up... Yeah. <laughs> I'll end up getting... With high blood, high blood pressure. Oh, oh. Oh, not like that. That was it. That was it. It looked like it was perfectly lined up. Yeah, that'll do. It's close enough. I'm not going to notice it when I'm... Uh, once it's done. So yeah, I'm gonna move I'll move all my food production in here when it's done. And then we'll I'll need to get some more settlers then. That's not a problem because I can just stick my uh, my light my uh, beacon back on. Oh, I need one more. There we go. That one just needs to turn him ever so slightly. Ah, come on. Yeah, there we go. Right, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to need to grab corn from here as well, aren't I? So I have in here. Oh no, I don't want to scrap that. That's full of stuff. I want corn. That's so we'll grab it all. Gourds can come out. Muck fruit. Potato, melon. Is that it all? Yeah. And I'm going to have to pick up individually I think these which is going to be really annoying actually I probably should have done this before I put the walls on but oh well I may do this off camera as well but I'll do these first four just so you get the idea I may show the finished article at some point say you're going to go in. Why would they not clip in? I've gone too oop, close to the wall. closer what is why is it saying there's a an issue there I'll do I wish these would just clip in like there was specific spots for them like you could put four per planter or something and you just lock because that'd be so much easier Yeah, you get the idea anyway, so corn I'll probably put on here and then we'll uh yeah we'll move up a level. So second level 
I need to go back to, is it warehouse? I think it's warehouse. Stairs. Uh, yeah, is that going to work? And then I want floors. Oh no, not that one. Is that connected? Yes, it is. Um, and then I want you here. Are you going to clip in? No. Hmm, how do we do this? Let's move the stair out for now. the staring after so the one I want is I want this one I've connected that at a weird angle haven't I this, this is maybe why it's not working put you there for now right you need to be there don't you this is why this wasn't working you there Maybe this one is just this structure. Now if I go to... I need some railings, don't I, so that my settlers don't just fall over the edge. All about that health and safety. Now let's go back to our walls. This is this is so much easier, by the way, than building inside the structures. Like I'm I'm fully aware that building in the houses is a pain in the ass, and you could just use that, this, and there's two of uh, two or three over there as well, isn't there? But I'm a bit of a masochist when it comes to stuff like this. Where is it? Is it? Yeah, warehouse. I want warehouse walls. And make sure this is clipping the right way. now I don't want these ones do I yeah these are not the ones I want I want these ones because then I can stack these on top of each other and then it gives the appearance of just full glass Falling off wasn't the brightest thing to do. Oh no, why are you... Yeah, that's not right. You just need to be there. Yeah, this is why I want to make sure these are all in the right place. Yeah, that, that was okay. got a bit of a weird oh no I think it's right we'll, 
We'll run with it. I'm hoping I'm going to have enough glass for this. Second structure done. Well, second floor, I mean. Uh, we want resources. Yeah, I don't mind that these sit on top. I think it actually looks quite good, especially with the mesh underneath. It's almost like that would be where the uh, the roots would flow, and you'd have some sort of water system maybe underneath. But right now, third floor. Third and final floor. Might have to get a bit funky with the stairs again. Alright, looks to have worked this time. Although it's. I want it. Yeah, I want it like that. That's okay. Maybe it's easier to put the floors on first and then attach the stairs after. You don't get a weird clipping. where it could potentially be tricky because I want to make sure that I get the roof right. Oh no. Oh, glad we didn't take fall damage then. <laughs> Got broken limbs. It's got it quite nice to this though. I must say. Oh, not there. It's far smoother than, uh, you know, where, where we started putting that roof and uh, floor on the house below. Gosh, our glass is running super low. Really hope I've got enough for this. It's going to be a photo finish, I think.
Oh, that one's got smashed glass. I want... This one doesn't have any smashed glass, but why is it not connecting? Is that the right one? That's got a, that's got a broken pane though. There's one that's got loads of broken panes, one that's got one broken pane, and then one that doesn't have any, but that wouldn't clip in. Right, it'll clip here. That's annoying. Oh well. Um, yeah, so now let's put in the... Where is it? Resources. Yeah, I'll build three more of these up here. Yeah, I might do like, ground floor can be like corn and taters or something, or corn and mutt fruit. Middle floor can be like taters, and then up here can be like the melons and the gourds or something. Carrots. Stuff that not, I'm not going to have a lot of. And then, I, yeah, I will do something else with this space. I'm not really sure what yet, but... Maybe have like warehouse storage or something up here. Just put a load of clutter around. I do eventually want to get lights on here as well though, so... I'm wondering... These aren't going to work because I've not actually connected this up yet, but... The lights I was looking at earlier, I would quite like to get on here. Is that going to work? Oh no, down the stairs. I need to put a railing on here actually as well, don't I? Concrete. Say about my uh, settle is falling off it and then I'm, I keep doing it. Right, lights. Are these going to clip? Onto here, I wonder. That's alright. I just need to get power. I'd say that's fairly central. Seems to be stuck on something. Oh, it's the railing. Maybe I'm better doing it from this side. And I want one here. Oh no, not like that. <laughs> God, they really are fiddly, aren't they? All this sort of stuff. It'd be really handy if it all clipped together like it was supposed to actually go there rather than having to do it all by hand. Then I think on these floors what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them so they're over the plants. I think that'll look quite cool. That's how it was done. That's how it looked like it was done in the video. I couldn't really tell. 
because they were kind of shooting around all over the place, but it looked like they'd done this. Oh, no, I don't need to put one there, I need to put it here. And then I need it there as well. I'm not going to get these perfect. I'll try line everything up. Probably off camera. Um, but I just want to kind of get... I'll get them in and I'll sort out the power and everything later. Oh, that's not right. You are the wrong way. There we go. I'll put them all in at least. sort out getting them lined up properly I'm nearly done I've got two more on this level God, my glass is so low. This is, uh, yeah. I I didn't build any more of these upstairs. How's that looking? That is way too far over. Fix that one, because that one looks very wrong. Right, ground level. We need one here. I used to love the sim when was the Sims when I was younger. Played like the first one like that, that came, I think that came out when I was like in school. And then the second one came out probably maybe like high school or like just before I went to college when I was probably like 14, 15 maybe. And I played that for a bit, never played three. And then, yeah, I played a lot of four. And my, my daughter loves four, Tim's four, she plays that, so we play it together. So I've played a lot of... Uh, yeah, games with building mechanics in them, I'm, I'm kind of used to. It's probably the one bit of this game that didn't feel completely alien, although all of the glitches were new to me, having to, the things you have to do to try and get things to clip together. Oh god, I've got corn in the way. I'm going to have enough to do this, I think I am just... I'm going to have to start finding, out, finding some empty new Coca-Cola bottles again. everything right I'll need to do power at some point but I'd say that looks pretty good that's gone up really quickly it looked better when it when it's got power on it and all this is full but yeah so like corn how many are we gonna have here so 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 on the bottom 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 there, and 12 on the top. Yeah, I'll work out a, a, a good split on how to do this. It's basically 9, 9 and 3, isn't it? So I'm going to have 21 plots in total for, is it five, five vegetables? The priorities will be potatoes, corn and mutt fruit and then carrots, gourds and, well I've actually not planted any carrots but gourds and melons will probably go towards the top. So yeah I just basically need, I need to connect power up to this, I need to do more of the water 
and yeah, I think that's uh, that'll probably be a pretty good session. I need to do some decorating as well, to be honest. I'm still not decorated in here. I've done these homes like complete opposites of each other. Like this one has got a new roof and yeah, new flooring, but I've left the windows empty. And then this one, the windows are covered, but it has no floor. It's just got the original floor, which is yeah, a bit of a mess to be honest. Now oh, we've got a bed clipping into the wall, that's not good. Cannot get into build mode now for some reason. Yeah, sometimes I've got to go back to the workshop and it's really annoying, especially when I'm far away like that. There we go. One thing I just want to try before I... Yeah, maybe st uh, pause this episode here. Is I want to try to see if I can get lights on the street to work. And what I want to do is test it out using that glitch that we just used down there, the wire glitch. So if I pull a conduit. I call it here. Place it on this. And then I'm going to connect the power source. So if this works, I can get power to the street as well, and it'll look really good if I can, at some point when I can be bothered to do it all. I'm really liking this by the way, I'm really impressed with how that's turned out. Right, so we've got a little bit of a visible a visibility, but I think I can probably hide that to make sure there's no wires like floating through the air or anything. No, I think we're good. I think we are good. You can see it, you can see the wires. That one there, that'll be the one going to the water. And then that one there, that'll be the one that I've just linked up to the, yeah, to the conduit over here, so. Now if we go to lights, do we have like street lamps? Yes. Which ones would be nicer? God, look at these ones, really fancy. Thinking maybe go with them. They're a bit fancy, aren't they? We'll go with these ones. So if I put this, can I put this over that conduit? No, I can't. Right. Do we not have enough power for this, I wonder? I'll have to work out the power situation, but what I'm thinking is... Can I glitch this to stand on that? In which case the wire and the conduit will both be hidden. What am I looking at? <laughs> where, where? I'm having a mind blank here. Where's, where are they? No, I don't want. Oh, it's in, it's in, is it in warehouse or barn or something? Try barn. I 
Why can I not find the pillars again now? Why am I, why? I do have one of them, but that's not the one I wanted to use. I'm sure they were in warehouse. Right, we'll go to the concrete one. Yeah, this I'm still a bit unsure where everything's kept, so I'm finding myself having to flick around a lot. Right, is this going to work? I really hope this is going to work. Oh, this is good. This is a good sign. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, slight trip hazard. wonder if I can get it a little bit further over. I'll just pull this this way. So this is where a thinner, a thinner pillar would have been good, a good idea. So come at this at an angle. How far over can I get it so it's not visible? Like there. Oh, so we're going to have a little bit of a wire visible anyway, regardless. In that case, then. It's not perfect, but I'll tell you what, it's... That might be my favourite glitch I've found so far. This one. Being able to hide wires. So I just need to work out power. But I can basically get the street lit up now as well. I just want to quickly see which lights do I think are going to be better. So that these are... They're, yeah, they are definitely a bit fancy. Maybe these ones a bit would be better. They're less fancy. Nah, I'm probably just being picky. I don't think it really matters, does it? So, yeah, I might, uh, was that lit up then? It looked like it was lit up for a second. I might call, uh, pause this episode now. What I will do is I will show you at some point this finished. So my plan is, yeah, sort out the power situation, try and get the, get, get the street lit up. I think that'll be a, a good thing to do. Is the first thing. Second is more power and more uh, water production because I want to start making a lot of purified water if I can. And at the minute, I'm probably going to have to line up a load of these these uh, generators for now. I think, which is going to be a bit annoying, but until I can get better power, I'm not. I'm a bit stuck. Uh, third thing is get all this veg in here, get this powered, um, and some decoration at the top. And then, yeah, fourth is start to decorate the houses. So at the minute, I'll probably decorate this one, and I might decorate this one and move all of the beds into here if I can. Because at the minute, my beds are in here and in here as well, but I've not got to these houses yet, so... I might leave this one, actually, because this one's... I quite like this this house and, I, and all my stuff's here so yeah I'm undecided yet anyway but yeah I um, yeah so I may what I may do is I may do that all that off camera and then episode 6 I will show you that what I've done and then episode 6 will begin in basically back where we were so Uh, where is the map? Yeah, episode 6. We'll start as if this one never existed. So we will start outside Boston Common. So, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, last thing I do before I sign off is let's level up. And 
we are going to put them in at Rifleman and Toughness or Medic, which one? I think we'll go with Toughness first. Medic will be the next one we do. Yeah, there we go. Am I near levelling up again, actually? Gosh, I am. I'm, I'm so close to, to another level. Are we going to get another level if I start putting plants down, I wonder? It'll be under food, won't it? Yes, you do. Right, we'll try and get this to the level up quickly before before I sign off. Because that'll be awesome if I can get three levels three levels up in a, in a video where I've not even left Sanctuary and done any combat. That would be uh, something. There we go. Medic, rank one. There we go, right, three level ups. What a, yeah, what an episode. I'm definitely going to go pour myself a nice dram now. And yeah, enjoy your Easter weekend, people. If you do have an extended weekend, then even better. I'm Mike the Gaming Dad. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.